Okay, how you going? Uh, Steve Deluxe Pork Air and Heating. Uh, just going to show you the um, MS3D Associated Controls Solar Controller, which is probably the most popular solar controller in Perth, Western Australia. Um, a lot of people ring us saying, you know, they've come out in springtime and have forgotten how to use it. So I'll just show you how to use it. It's a lot easier than explaining on the phone. Okay, this is the actual unit. Nice looking unit, <laughs> as you can see. Okay, basically the solar pump plugs in underneath there, like so, just in that, it goes straight into there. A lot of times someone will come and pull the plug out and accident and then they'll just plug it straight into the main mains. Um, but it, the solar pump has to go in underneath here, just so the controller can control it basically. Okay, you've got two sensors with this unit. One sits in the suction line reading your pull temperature. The other one sits up on the roof in the sun or on a fence somewhere in the sun just to basically um, get the ambient temperature or the, or the temperature in the sun. Um, you need 7 degrees warmer in the sun than the pool temperature for it to be worth it coming on. So as soon as you get that differential, she'll click on and then run until it reaches what you set it for or you lose the heat on the roof. So if it's pelting down with rain it won't come and, and work for nothing. Okay, now to set your temperature all you do is press either one of these two buttons here and it will change to C. That's your comfort setting. That's what you want to achieve in the pool. Turn it up with a positive, down with a minus. So now that's set for 30 degrees, which is a nice temperature for sort of swimming at night and that sort of stuff. If you want to see what temperature you've got on the roof or in the, in the hot sensor, you press that. I've actually had that in a, in a bit of warm water, so it's, your roof temperature is a little lower there in a minute. Hang on a sec. R35 and then it will read your pool temperature, last recorded temperature and your comfort setting which it is set for and then it will go back to reading your pool temperature. When this unit is actually, the pump's actually turned off it will, you'll get a little L there and that is last recorded temperature what the unit got to when it was on. That's just the memory in the system. Um, Winter mode, three months of winter where you're not using it, flick it on at winter mode and that will just come on for five minutes each day and that just flushes all through the system, gives your pump a bit of a run because if you leave it off for three months you can damage your pump, also you can damage the system. So just if you're not using it, put it on the winter mode and that will basically take care of itself. Okay, um, hope this has been helpful. Um, if you need any more information just, just give us a call. Uh, if this has been helpful, if you can just like it down the bottom, that would be great. Thanks a lot. See ya. Yeah.